President Obama has named his next Secretary of Defense and CIA director. In a double nomination, the president gave Chuck Hagel and John Brennan the nod. But they'll have to have their nominations confirmed by the Senate. And that's already looking contentious, with some senators coming out speaking against Chuck Hagel, saying that he's unfriendly towards Israel and is too weak on Iran. The two men, President Obama has chosen to head up America's defense and terrorism strategies in his second term. Former moderate Republican Senator for Nebraska Chuck Hagel is in line to replace Leon Panetta as defense secretary, while counter-terrorism adviser John Brennan steps up to take over the Central Intelligence Agency. My number one criteria in making these decisions was simple. Who is going to do the best job in securing America? These two leaders have dedicated their lives to protecting our country. I am confident they will do an outstanding job. I'm also grateful for an opportunity to help continue to strengthen our country and strengthen our country's alliances and advance global freedom, decency, and humanity as we help build a better world for all mankind. They're facing an entry of daunting challenges, scaling down U.S. forces in Afghanistan, standing up to Iran's nuclear proliferation, and dealing with billions of dollars of budget cuts at the Pentagon. But it's Hegel's nomination that's causing the most consternation, battle lines drawn over his opinions. His fellow Republicans and some Jewish organizations are accusing him of being hostile to Israel and soft on Iran. Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel. One pro-Israel organization has produced a TV advert criticizing his nomination. And while President Obama says all options are on the table for preventing a nuclear Iran, Hegel says military action is not a viable, feasible, responsible option. President Obama, for Secretary of Defense, Chuck Hagel is not a responsible option. Critics of Mr. Hagel also point to his unwillingness to back a military strike by either the U.S. or Israel on Iran, along with bruising comments he made in a 2007 interview about what he called the Jewish lobby intimidating lawmakers. Mr. Hagel's supporters, though, have dismissed the criticism, instead highlighting his vote to provide Israel with billions of dollars of military aid and his sponsored legislation that called for an end to dialogue with Hamas until the organization recognized Israel's sovereignty. Hegel is not anti-Israel. Uh, if he is, then he's not going to survive the confirmation process, and Obama would never have chosen him. In fact, Obama's made it clear all along during his presidency that even though he disagrees with Israel on certain issues like settlement policy, he always wants to be seen as Israel's best friend in military terms. And Hegel's job as defense secretary, to the extent he's involved in this issue, will be to help Israel's military uh, get stronger and be able to defend itself and its country. Hegel and Brennan's nominations, along with John Kerry's for Secretary of State, will now go before the Senate to be voted on. Picking a Republican helps to bolster the president's bipartisan credentials, but he's setting himself up for another fight with Congress at a time when he's already battling lawmakers over resolving fiscal issues. While no senator has so far come out to say that they will block Chuck Hagel's nomination, there's likely to be a battle to get him confirmed in his new role. This is Nick Harper for JM1 in Washington, D.C.